face mask is an interface device between the patient's upper airway and the breathing system. It allows gas administration to the patient from the breathing system without introducing any apparatus into the patient's mouth. It may be made up of black rubber, clear plastic, elastomeric material or disposable plastic or combination of these. The parts of face mask are body, seal and connector. Also called shell or dome, the body is the main part of the mask. They are generally transparent which allows observation for vomitus, secretions, blood, lip color, and exhaled moisture and is better accepted by a conscious patient. The seal, rim, flap or edge is the part of the mask that comes in contact with the face. There are two type, pad and flap type. Pad or cushion type seal inflated with air or filled with a material that will conform to the face when pressure is applied. Flap type seal is a flexible extension of the body that conforms to the contour of the face. It is pressed onto the face to create a seal. Connector is present at the opposite side from the seal. It is also called orifice, collar or mount. It has a thickened fitting with a 22 mm internal diameter. A ring with hooks may be placed around the connector to allow a mask strap to be attached. Face mask can either be grouped as anatomical mask, ambu transparent mask and Rendell Baker Sausek mask. Anatomical masks can either be made of black rubber, latex or plastic. The shape of the anatomical mask conforms to the contour of the face and has a padded seal. Of the many types of face masks available, the anatomical face mask is most commonly used for anesthesia. The seal can get deflated with overuse with time and the proper seal is not achieved. Also called the conal mask, the black rubber mask is made of rubber that can be widened or narrowed to fit the face. It is available in sizes 0 to 5. Snuggy mask is an autoclavable soft contoured cuff face mask either made up of silicon or rubber. It provides patients comfort as well as makes for easy cleaning. The one-piece construction in silicone rubber also allows for clear view of presence of vomit, patient's lip color as well as other oral secretions. The sizes available are 0 to 5. Eco Mask is a non-PVC single-use anatomical face mask. It has a non-slip rings for a better grip and tighter seal. Its anatomical shape and soft seal provides a comfortable fit. The transparent body allows excellent visibility. The sizes are available in a range of seven sizes with distinct color coding for easy selection. The diagram here shows a mask similar to the Connell mask which is known as Trimar mask. It was designed with shallower body to lessen the dead space. Ambu transparent mask is made of transparent plastic with an inflatable cuff for a seal and has a thumb rest built into the body. Rendell Baker Sausek mask, also called RBS mask, is designed for pediatric patients. It has a triangular body, available in sizes 00, 0, 0 1, and 2. It has a low dead space, that is, 4 milliliters in size 1 and 8 milliliters in size 2. Since it adequately fits the child's face, no special seal is needed. Some of these masks are scented and may have a pacifier. Another mask used in pediatrics and newborn is lateral mask. It is made of silicon rubber and available in different sizes. It has an inward curving circular face seal. It can be boiled or autoclaved. An endoscopic mask is designed to allow mask ventilation while an endoscope is being used. 
The port in the mask body allows a fiberscope to be inserted into the nose or mouth. The fiberscope can be used to railroad endotracheal tube into the trachea. Hudson's mask is made of clear transparent plastic with air entrainment holes on the sides. It is variable performance mask, meaning, the concentration of oxygen delivered is flow dependent. It is under the chin design for excellent fit on a wide variety of face sizes. Its adjustable nose clip assures comfortable fit and transparent build allows visualization for patient assessment. It can also be attached to the reservoir bag to enhance the delivery of higher oxygen concentration. The oxygen concentration delivered at various flow rate is given here. This mask is categorized further into simple, partial and non-rebreather mask and will be discussed in depth in the Oxygen Delivery Devices section playlist. Smallest mask that fits well and prevents leak is the most desirable as it will cause the least increase in dead space. The smaller mask is also easier to hold and less likely to result in pressure on the eyes. Two most accepted method of holding mask are one hand method or both hands method. In one hand method, the thumb and index finger of the dominant hand are placed on the mask body slightly pushing downwards to hold the mask to the face. These two fingers form C. The remaining three fingers are placed on the bony part of the mandible to pull the mandible up into the mask like a letter E. The middle and ring finger is placed on the mandibular ridge to pull the jaw backward and extend the neck. Little finger is placed under the angle of the jaw and pulls the jaw upward. The free hand is used to squeeze the reservoir bag. This method is preferred in patients who are easier to ventilate such as pediatrics patients. In the two-hand method, we need assistance to squeeze the bag or need the ventilator to provide positive pressure ventilation. It is usually done in patients who are thought to have difficulty in mask ventilation like obese patient. There are two ways we can position our hands. The first one is the double CE technique like one hand method where each thumb and index finger form a C shape over each side of the mask while the third, fourth, and fifth fingers of both hands lift the mandible toward the mask to perform a jaw thrust and chin lift maneuver. The other one is the VE technique where the thumbs and thenar eminence are placed over each side of the mask while the second through fifth digits pull the jaw upward to perform a jaw thrust and chin lift maneuver. Face mask use though rare does have some complications associated with them. These are skin-related problems like dermatitis in allergic patients. If rubber is a component of a face mask, a serious reaction can occur in the patient with latex allergy. Pressure necrosis can occur under the face mask if too much pressure is applied for prolonged duration. Forward jaw displacement may result in stretching mandibular nerve and pressure on the supraorbital or supratrochlear nerve can damage them. Cramped hands and tired muscles can limit the user's ability to perform other tasks especially in obese and patient with larger head. Corneal abrasion may be caused by a face mask inadvertently placed on an open eye. Pressure on the medial angles of the eyes and supraorbital margins may result in eyelid edema and chemosis of the conjunctiva. Gastric inflation of stomach can happen with higher inspiratory pressure. So, the inspiratory pressure should be kept below 20 cm of water. With strong prolonged mask ventilation, patient may experience postoperative jaw pain too.